to part three of an overview of the CQG spreader. Now we'll look at setting queue holders parameters. Queue holders or stacked orders are additional orders placed in the queue at specified price levels away from the initial working order. Several parameters apply specifically to these stacked orders. Min and max number of holders sets the minimum and maximum number of orders to include in the queue. For example, a setting of 5 and 9 indicates that the minimum number of price levels, for example, the minimum number of stacked orders is 5 and the maximum number of price levels is 9. When a leg is filled, the system cancels the stacked orders. Risk management margin requirements are calculated assuming that all of the orders have the potential to fill. The number of levels to skip between queue holders setting indicates how many price levels to skip between orders in the queue. The order size restore threshold is used for queue holder management. This setting indicates how far the market should run before maximizing size of a recent placed order that is now part of the group of stacked orders. The size of the working order is based on the currently available size in the monitored leg and the size of the orders in the group of stacked orders at the maximum order size. This setting overrides that system behavior in order to cut down on messaging. For example, a setting of three tells the system to update the order quantity in the queue only when the market moves three price levels. Next is setting the if incomplete order parameters. Using trading parameters, you can choose how the system handles incomplete orders. The replace order setting determines the behavior for incomplete orders, either a pay up or a trailing limit, which offers greater flexibility and more nuanced decision making. The timeout for incomplete setting is the amount of time down to milliseconds that must elapse from acknowledgement before the if incomplete strategy is executed. It allows you, for example, to wait a second to see if the market comes back. The trailing limit same side places a trailing limit order that tracks the same side as the original spread order. The trailing limit opposite side places a trailing limit order that tracks the opposite side of the original spread order. Selecting payups replaces the original limit order to complete the spread with a limit order that has the price adjusted based on the number of slip ticks. The threshold parameter is an absolute volume level for triggering the order. When the leaning leg volume available at the exchange drops below this specified level, then the system cancels and replaces the original order with a limit order that has the price adjusted based on the number of slip ticks threshold setting. The threshold parameter is a volume ratio. When the ratio between the volume available at the exchange and the leaning leg order size falls below the specified ratio, then the system executes the pay up strategy. The threshold parameter is a volume ratio. When the ratio between volumes available at the exchange for either the best bid ask for a leaning sell order or the best ask bid for a leaning buy order falls below the specified ratio, then the system executes the pay up strategy. This concludes part three of an overview of the CQG spreader. Thank you.